Hi folks, Bob Collins for Diver Supply. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about console computers slash console gauges computers. The other day I did a video, I'll post a link right up there about just regular consoles that have various and sundry gauges in them. And now I thought I'd go ahead and do one about the step, what most of us would consider a little step beyond just gauge consoles. And what I've got here is I've got just a standard gauge, pressure gauge with a computer on it. And this is a non-quick disconnect unit. And then I've got here, I've got a, these, as a matter of fact, all three of these are quick disconnects. I don't have the hoses laying here because I wanted to kind of simplify moving these around. But the nice thing about the quick disconnect versus one like this is if you're traveling, you can disconnect your computer, take it into the hotel room with you, maybe download to your, uh, to your smartphone or whatever mechanism you use to download your your uh, dives. You might be putting them into a dive log and it's nice to have it laying there so in the comfort of your hotel room you can make all those annotations that need to go in your dive log. So what we have here is we've got our basic dive computer and gauge and this one is by SEAC and this particular unit is a standard LCD screen. I'll push a button and get it turned on here. I think you can see that come on. And so again, just like on our other consoles, our pressure gauge is always gonna be closest to the hose. And you can see the computer coming on here. And it's a nice two button type of uh, computer. Now, you're going to see single button computers, you're going to see dual button computers. Uh, it just depends on the make and the model of the computer that's attached. This happens to be CX screen computer that's on this particular unit. Now, some people would ask me, why, why do I really want a computer on my console versus on my wrist? And the answer would be you could maybe get into this unit right here fairly inexpensively and then you could upgrade if you wanted to maybe go to a color computer like what's on this console. This actually comes as a risk computer also. So you could get into a beginner computer here and then later on upgrade the computer that would go on to your wrist. You're gonna see a lot of shops out there, they like this particular type of unit here because then a student really can't lose a computer per se and versus the quick disconnects or even the wrist computers. So these are pretty popular on rental style regulator sets that you'll see out there. The next unit I have, this is an Aqualung unit this may look somewhat familiar because I had just this single gauge unit in the other video and now we've added a computer on top of this and this is an interesting computer because this computer is the Aqualung i330 and is a color screen computer you might be able to see it I'm trying to make sure I don't get glare here I think you can see it coming on there it's not as big a screen as this particular computer was you can see the difference in the screen but it is color and a lot of people say the color provides better definition and better understanding of the information that's on the unit now the i330 it utilizes a single button here on the side, try to turn that so you can see it. And it's a, it's a very easy to see computer and the cost seems to be pretty, uh, pretty decent. 
I'm going to move over. This is uh, a unit by Shearwater, and this is a large screen. Again, you can kind of compare it to the SEAC that I had, had up here a minute ago. And this is a large color computer. This is not air integrated. You can see the air gauge located right here. And this unit also has an angled compass on top of it, which is pretty handy. So when you reach down and you've got this attached, you would just reach down, pick it up and look at it. So it would be very, very effective. You just pick it up and look at it like that. So, you know, and if you needed to use the compass, you could just pull it around and use your compass in front of you. So nice unit, very easy to see color and uh, is very cost appropriate from that particular standpoint. Now this particular model, and you're going to see some of these out there, and this is a air integrated computer and a console. So it is a single button. This is by Aqualung. I'm going to try to turn this so you can see it when I turn this on so I don't have any glare. I've got a, I've got a window right up there that I'm trying to keep the glare off of, but I think you can see it come on there. One of the other things I like about this, this is the Aqualung 550. It also has a little LED here that blipped on. And when it blips on, it's basically saying that this alarm, it's as well as an audible alarm. Now this one doesn't vibrate. This one actually vibrates. This one is constantly monitoring not just the three things this one is, this is also monitoring air consumption as well as depth, time, and presets, and even the water temperature, which is included on these also. Kind of a funny shape here, so the hose would come in here, and I would hold it and look at it like this, whereas these units here are all tend to be upright style units that you see like that versus this which has this offset and even and I'll turn it sideways here I think you can get a look there you can even see how the compass has a offset angle to it so that if it was here mounted here and you pull the unit loose and pulled it in front of you it's just kind of a natural position when you put your hand on the hose and bring it out to look at this and the compass is in the perfect angle and in line with your body. We all know we put that lever line in line with our bodies to, to follow that. So that's a quick look at these particular gauge computer consoles. Hopefully you found this interesting. I appreciate all the comments that I get from folks out there. And uh, again, keep it up. Please subscribe, reach down and hit that subscribe button. Again, I'm Bob Collins for Diver Supply. If you have questions, shoot in your questions. I'd love to, love to hear them. And as I always say, dive safe out there. Thanks for watching.